Alright, so I know um I don't know how to start this, but we've all been going off on the wrong foot when it comes to Eli Manning, alright? But let me be the first to say this. In no way in hell do I hate this man, alright? That's why I'm literally wearing literally I'm wearing his jersey from the year we won the Super Bowl. When he made that clutch throw to Manningham. I'm literally wearing his jersey right now. So everyone on my Instagram, on my Big Blue season page, everyone is claiming, oh, Big Blue's a fake fan. Oh, Big Blue hates Eli Manning. Oh, he never appreciated Eli Manning. Oh, he's so bi I literally just got called biased for saying that he, like this man isn't good anymore. Where do you get that from? You're calling me biased for saying Eli Manning's not good anymore? You're the biased one for saying that this man still has it. Let me be the first to say this. Ever since I first became a Giants fan, Eli Manning has always been my favorite player growing up, all right? Always has been, always will be. And let me be the first to say this. He will retire as a Hall of Famer. He's going, he's going to the Hall of Fame. As a matter of fact, they should just let him retire, you know, just write out his last season, put him in the ring of honor, because he is the best QB this team has had in franchise history. He's had every single passing record this team holds. Every single one of them. Name it. All right? I know some people think, oh, Phil Sims was better. Nah. Eli gave it his all for this organization. All right? For God knows how long. I mean, pretty much my entire life. You know? From 2004 to now, he's gave it his all for this organization. All right? So, you can continue to call me whatever the hell you want when it comes to Eli Manning. But it's time to face reality here, people. The reality is that Eli Manning does not have it anymore. He's not having it in him anymore. It's like, I just don't feel like he has the will to win anymore, in my opinion. Yes, I feel like he could still win his games, maybe like a few games, but take a look at the, the like, take a look at Eli when he won his little Super Bowls to Eli now. Eli, like, always played his ass off every game. Like, he would just never give up on the play. Like, he would be, he would make accurate throws down the field. Yes, with time. I understand offensive line hasn't been that great. But back then, he would just move around the pocket, even if the pocket collapses. Now he just stands there like a statue and just takes a sack and doesn't move around in the pocket. The game isn't like that anymore. The game changed. It changed, really. Now QBs have to move around. I mean, there has been QBs last year that had less time to throw than Eli did, had worse offensive lines than he did, and they still produced more than Eli did. And bought him to the playoffs, at least. How about that? I need, I need to make this video because all these people keep coming at me saying, oh, like, oh, I don't believe in this team, or I don't believe in Eli, or whatever. The one thing I will never deny about Eli Manning is how clutch he is. No matter if he's in his prime or he's washed up, well, he is washed up now. No matter what, this man will always come up clutch. No matter the circumstances, all right? People need to realize that. This man will always be forever my favorite player ever. But at the same time, I always root for the name that's in front of the jersey, not the name in the back. This goes out to all you Odell fanboys, too, that decided to become Giants fans just because Odell. Now, all of a sudden, they want to claim they're Browns fans for life. Just because he got traded there. This goes out to you idiots too, alright? Eli just doesn't have it anymore, alright? He's not the same QB he once was. He's a shell of his old self, alright? And his last good season was 2015. That, 2015? Eli went off that year. That was probably his best season in my opinion. You can argue 2011, but in 2011 he was more clutch. But 2015 he put up better numbers. And... That Eli I miss. I miss the old Eli. I miss the Eli that would make good throws downfield, makes the big play when it matters, and, you know, just moves around the pocket and try to buy time for his receivers, you know? That's all we ask for. I'm not asking him to be like, oh, I don't know, Russell Wilson or something, you know? I'm not asking him to be that, you know? Just buy time downfield for your receivers. You want to know this stat? Eli Manning did not have a single touchdown pass of over 40 yards last year. Yet everyone that wants to keep bringing up his stats last year saying, oh, he had over 4,000 yards with a crappy O-line at 38 years old. Well, 
half of his yardage came when the game was pretty much out of reach. Like, there's been several games. You would see several games how it's only one possession, but no. The only reason it's one possession is because of garbage time. Like, we would just score when the game's pretty much out of reach. We, have, we couldn't score earlier in the game. And that was the first half. I will admit, though, he did have a better second half of the season. But to still have similar numbers than when he did in 2017 when he just had high school wide receivers. But the team overall was garbage in 2017. And he only threw, like, 19 touchdowns. He only threw 21 last year, and a few of them came in, like, garbage time. And he had better... He had everyone health... Well, almost everyone healthy. At the same time, like... You can't keep making excuses for this man anymore, all right? Time for excuses, excusing him for every loss. Listen, I understand this team overall sucks. Like, we need to fix the damn defense right now because... Those contracts we signed, like, we signed... Signing Vernon, Jack Rabbit, and Snacks, signing all of them just like screwed over our cap space this year like it just screwed us over because now this team is taking up the most money in dead cap by also trading away Odell as well a year after signing which doesn't make any sense <sighs> ay, ay, ay. And, this and I'm saying it's because John Mara well yes John Mara they've got me you know the whole team announced that you know they're not ruling out on not bringing him back for 2020 like they want to take it one year at a time with him and they're thinking about bringing him back for 2020 which i don't agree with all right they should just let this man write out his final year of his contract and let him retire like a pro and um we got to find a success successor too even if it's this year or next year in my opinion i do think next year's quarterback draft class is better but i feel like as of right now, we need to we need to find his successor and take the Mahomes approach that happened in Kansas City. You know, that's what I think, right? But no matter what, Eli Manning will always be my favorite player ever growing up, right? Like, I've been hard on him. I will be hard on him because he's not good anymore. But don't ever say that I never liked Eli Manning or I never appreciated him, all right? Because there is actually Giants fans that never appreciated him and they said worse things about him. But me. I just want what's right for this team, man. I just want this team to succeed again. All right? So, go Giants. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I believe in you, Eli. I always will believe in you, even if you're not that good anymore. So, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my fan page at BigBlue underscore season and Instagram, and I'm out. <laughs>